All right, for this one, I just got done turning another sink and letting that one uh, sit off the side, and then I'm gonna epoxy both of them at the same time. But this one here is walnut. It's roughly, when I'm done, it's gonna be 16 inches it's around, and I'm hoping about, about uh, five and a half, five, five and a half inches thick. But I'm starting out, it's pretty uneven on the back side of it. It's pretty thin there, maybe four inches, and here it's like way over eight or nine inches. So I'm gonna to need to troll this up, but this is gonna be the bottom of it. So I'm gonna shape the side of the bowl around that way and, and smooth all that out. And I drilled a hole in the center of it. I'm not sure what size it is, but I'm using the worm screw and whatever the inside diameter is, I just held the drill bit up to it. That's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna screw that onto the chuck, bring up the tailstock and turn the bottom of this and put a recess in it so I can put it on the, in the jaws and expand them and clean out the inside of this baby. All right. Get it on the lathe. Help support the companies that support our community.
turning it, it was making a noise and I thought it was just these little voids and then I turned it off and there are two nails in there. So I'm switching over to the ball gouge because I can just keep resharpening that. But it looks like they're little finish nails. Probably put in there years ago to uh, hang up a yard sale sign or something. All right, so I'm gonna keep working through this and I'll keep checking it to see if there's any more in it. But they're pretty small, but still. It's gonna dull up the carbide really fast, so I'll use the bowl gouge and that way I can keep working at it and sharpening that. I went I got rid of the other ones I must have been turning them for a while so I got down to the end of them but and then there's two big ones there those are a lot bigger than the finish nails but I can see it goes in right there and then it bends I'm gonna try and uh, dig that one out real quick I think oh the head just popped off well, there's something else in there all right I'm just gonna go slow and try and get those out nails I got them all out there were five of them total another big one in the in the center there so what I'm gonna do is run through a couple of the grits uh, probably up to 180 and then I'm gonna fill in these little uh, cracks here with black CA and then I'll run through up to 600 the reason I haven't drilled the hole out is I ordered them off of Amazon and I'm waiting for them they're supposed to be here today but as soon as I get that and I know that exact measurement then I will drill that hole for it but I'm just gonna run through the grits turn on the dust collector and everything and and uh, then get those filled in Just put on the last coat. Hopefully, I'm gonna knock that all down and, and make sure I didn't miss any little spots, but look what, uh, look what came. The drains just showed up. So, we will uh, be able to work on the inside as soon as that's all. We get all that sanded down, I can start working on the inside. But, I ordered these, the one I did for the camper, I didn't have a pop top on it. It was just, we were gonna be using it in the camper, so I wasn't really concerned about it, but this one is going to somebody else, so I really wanted to get a nice one where they could push it down and, and fill the sink up if they wanted to. I don't don't uh, see that happening very much, but it's a, a brushed, finish on it i really like that it's going to match the walnut i ordered two of them because i'm going to do uh, the other walnut sink too but very nice and then they just go in there and you can pop them up to drain it and pop it down to fill it up but that's just going to slide right in there these don't have the um the overflow because obviously the sink doesn't have an overflow and just doesn't doesn't need it so and you have quite a bit of room to work with there um even even the other one it gives you you know you can leave that it that thick if you wanted to i'm gonna leave it it pretty thick you know maybe maybe an inch and a half inch and inch and a half maybe not that thick but i'm leaving it you know thick enough to where when you tighten this down it's not going to break the wood so i'm going to measure that right there is the part that we're going to sink into the sink so 
it's gonna run right through there. So I need to take some measurements on that before I start cutting into the bottom of it, but very nice. I really like the look, like the look of that, and I think it'll go good with the walnut. For the finish on this one, I did the epoxy on the last couple I did, but we're gonna do a satin finish on this, and I'm gonna use general finishes. It's an oil base, it's armor seal. Don't shake the can, that's the first one. Stir it up, and I'm just gonna put it on with a foam brush. You can put it on with a brush, rag. I'm gonna put on several coats of it, um, probably five. You need to wait about 12 hours in between coats. And then on the last coat, let it set up for about 24 hours before you put on the final coat. It's all dry, ready for the next coat. So what I did is I ran to the home store and grabbed just a cheap one of these and drilled a hole in two by six and put it in there. It's smaller than the, the one I'm using, so it's perfect. Doesn't quite tighten down all the way, but that's all right. And that way I can put the coat on and take this out of the shop so I can keep working out here. So what I'm gonna do is, it looks really good, so I'm just gonna lightly scuff it with 400 and then put another coat on and then uh, start working on the other sink. All right, I still have two more coats to go. It's taken a little longer to dry than I was hoping, but I think it's just because of the weather, it's cold. I ended up letting it tack up for about an hour and then taking it in the house and putting it in the spare room. But this little stand is working out great. So I will get the, the other two coats on before I finish this thing off. But I just wanted to show you. So basically the whole process, it's just so much easier to, to use the Forstner bit. So just go down in there, get your diameter of the, the thread right, and then go ahead and, and take it off the lathe, put, use a Forstner bit to drill down through the rest of it. That way you don't have to hit the jaws on it. Um, trying to think of anything else, you just, uh, want to make sure that that's centered in there and make sure you get it, uh, quite a few coats on this because you want it waterproof. And so on the last couple, I did epoxy, um, which works really well. This works really well. It's gonna waterproof it. The only thing is if you drop something on it, it's going to dent it a little bit. So you need to be careful of that. That's the only thing. If it gets dented, it, you'll have to put some more finish on it. So just, you know, let, you know, whoever's using it or if you're making it for yourself, just keep that in mind. So that slides right in there like that. You put all your little washers on the back side of it here, just like this. And what you're gonna wanna do too is take and 
bring a little bit of uh, silicone around the inside of that before you put it down and then wipe that off. But it seats down in there really nice. It's nice and flush. There's no transition on that. You want to keep that as even as possible because you are going to have to put that silicone in there and then it'll, it will seat all nice and tight. But super happy with this one. I got the other one on the lathe right now. So this one I gave the outside shape just a little bit of profile and what i did on the inside was i didn't match that profile and the reason is it just as far as cleaning it and things like that i didn't want it all ripply on the inside i just think it's much cleaner the water will not that the water was going to run down any easier but i just think when you're looking inside of it nice smooth transition from the lip all the way down it looks better and it's going to be easier to take care of this one right here basic bowl shape basically a salad bowl i did put a little bit of a foot on it <coughs> sorry a little bit of a foot on it too and on the bottom here so i did the same thing put a little bit of foot and that is what is going to seat on the countertop is that little foot so you want to run a, a bead of silicone around that too and then put this thing down there and mount it on and then this uh little piece here so this is right on the end you hook all your drain pipes up to it just like a just like a regular sink but super happy with the, the walnut as far as the black ca it looks natural they're all smooth they had them all filled in so if you have any little cracks like that fill them in with with uh, ca and that way you won't have any issues with water leaking down into it had quite a few on this side same thing but they look nice it's all smooth and it's water tight all right, if this is your first time here, I have a new project video every week. Please hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified every time we have a video. And please, I'll have a link down below in the description to all of the tools I use. So if you saw anything in here in the video or any of the videos that you're interested in, check out the link below. And I'll also have a link down below to our Instagram page. So go follow us over there. As soon as I get this completely finished, I'll post some more pictures over there and I'll post some more pictures of that one. All right, till next week, take care.